Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross! We're supposed to head to the Hermit's Hideaway here, but let's not go there yet. There's one more island that I want to explore. The Isle of the Damned. I think we've only been told about this area once. Something about Karsh uh, having some sort of incident here, but uh, well, I'm not worried about that loser. Let's head on over here then. There's not a whole lot we can do here. A uh, little bit of treasure. Uh, some of the enemies here are fairly challenging, and uh, you could steal, uh, well, you'll get another character, you could get another character who can steal items. You can get Mithril from the enemies. I think it's a rare steal, or maybe it's a rare drop, I don't know, but uh, in any case, you can't forge Mithril equipment yet anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. Hey, hey, we got some mixed bones for Skelly here, all right. Is that all of them? Isn't the knee part of the leg? Eh, whatever. I don't know how the song goes. Uh, can't you join our party like all the other random characters we got? Well, come on! Where'd you go? Well, at least he took all the key items with him, but, uh, yeah, we gotta head back to Termina to, uh, get Skelly, so, uh, I'll just meet you over there then. All right, we're back at Termina. So let's check out Skelly's house now that he's all in one piece. By the way, uh, this would be a good time to uh, forge that new iron equipment, or uh, well, at least the armor and the helmets from all the iron that we picked up back at the Water Dragon Isle there. Well, there you go. Skelly, he's back and he runs funny. Why he's continuing to wear, uh... What is that thing around his neck, anyway? I, I don't know. I've never seen one of those before. I guess, you know, wearing clothes makes him seem a little more normal. Let me hug you with my flesh and bones to your bones. No flesh. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of dead. But, uh, oh, well, that's okay. You've become an anorexic. That's great. How does a skeleton cry? I'm not crying. Well, okay, man. Don't, don't take offense. Well, there we go. It's a nice lesson for the kids. All right. Well, there you go. I'm happy you're happy. Oh, okay. Well, aren't you gonna join my party, though? Well, come on, Skelly! I put you back in one piece. The least you could do is help me out. Let's see if he conveniently forgot. There we go. Yeah, yeah, we gotta, uh, leave the house, come back in, and then Skelly would join our party. Skelly's actually not bad. Let's, uh, give him his name, and then we'll check out what he comes along with. Let's uh, go into our uh, quit menu here, press left, check out Skelly here. Skelly comes with, well, iron equipment, so that's pretty nice. Uh, let's uh, get rid of that, and uh, well, I'll have to find another way of getting rid of the glove there, but uh, so that we can disassemble that, but anyway, we get that from him. Skelly uh, also comes with a level 3 tech that hits all enemies, well, just like Neophio. He's one of three characters who has that on a level 3 tech. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I might be putting him to use later, but uh, first I want to, uh, what is it? I want to forge some new iron equipment, and then I'll meet you outside. Okay, we're back at the Isle of the Damned here. I've already forged iron mails and iron helmets for everyone, so that's the only change I've really made. So let's check out the Hermit's Hideaway. Apparently he's having a bonfire here. It's burned out? Oh no. Maybe the bonfire got out of control, or maybe he just left a cigarette lying around. Uh oh. Who's there? It's Harley! I didn't think you were such a violent person. I would guess salute means hello. Yeah, if you bring Glenn along, you get a little extra dialogue. That's the nice thing about Glenn. Not only is he strong, though, he also brings a little bit more character to uh, and dialogue to the scenes. Uh, 
So I think that's pretty nice to bring them along like that. I'll be bringing them to a lot of areas. Well, why'd you burn this place down? I thought you were, like, allies with, uh, dragoons. Yeah, I thought you were working with them. Huh. I guess they didn't like him. Uh-oh. Here we go! You like my Mario impression? Huh? Alright, it's boss time against Harley! We get to fight a clown. Okay, well here's my new boss strategy now that we have Eagle Eyes available. First things first, let's charge up one and one. Eagle Eye Surge, or whoever's the opposite color of the boss that you're fighting at the time. In this case, Harley is black elemental, so we want Surge to be buffed up. And then Strengthen Surge. Eagle Eye Strengthen, that's the way to go. And then just go all out with Surge and uh, carve her up. Just like in bed, except don't kill her. And I don't know what kind of weapon she has there. What is she doing? Throwing cards at you? Anyway, normally what I would do is I would try to... Um, I, I wouldn't even bother using my spells or anything. I would just have Surge use his stamina, like go fierce, fierce, and uh, then let someone else use their stamina. But Harley does not have very much HP. So I figured let's just use dash and slash, get it over with, you know. But otherwise, normally, I would just not even bother using elements with the eagle eye and uh, strengthen strategy. Not too hard. Let's see what we win from her. Ah, eh, photon beam. Okay, not that lucky today. You can rarely win a, uh, what is it, moon glasses from her. One of the rarest items in the game. It's an accessory that uh, uh, reduces damage by 25%, all sources of damage. So that's pretty nice, but it's too rare for me to really want to go after. It's also a rare steal from her, but, well, we can't steal from her. So, oh, Radius is okay. All right. Where did he go, anyway? I mean, it's not like there's much place that, that he can hide on this island. What, does she send a carrier pigeon to you? Huh. Oh, so he's the real bad guy, huh? Oh, well, there you go. Do you know anything about Lynx? He seems to uh, have met him before, but doesn't seem to be on his side either. Hmm. Apparently, in this world, Radius decided not to become uh, the chief of Arnie Village... I guess maybe he thought Viper was doing a good enough job or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, he retired, right. Garai and Zappa, huh? Must have lost his eye somewhere along the line. Or uh, Zappa did. Or something happened. Oh, well, there you go. Man, it, it got good retirement benefits in the Acacia Dragoons. You live long enough, you get your own private island. Frozen flame, huh? So that's what Viper's after. And Lynx, apparently. Oh. Well, that's not good. Zen incontinent. Not anymore, apparently. Whoa. So yeah, apparently generals get a huge island... And if you're just an ordinary dragoon, uh, you get a smaller island. Still, that's pretty good. Okay, yeah, it seems like a good idea. Whoa, keep an eye out for them. They'll swallow your souls! Yay, happy music while we sleep. This music just plays over and over and over again while they're sleeping here. No, nah, no, nah, that would drive you insane. It'd drive me insane. Okay, well, looks like we know what they're after. The look, Lynx and Viper are after the Frozen Flame. But why are they at Fort Dragonia? Can we put a stop to them? And what about those spirits that are wandering the sea? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross! This is H.C. Bailey. 
signing off. Have a good day.